This section heading is called Defining a Schnort Rule Comprised of Only the Header Section. So what we're going to do in this section right here is basically we're taking things step by step. So your Schnort rules can be used as kind of like two fingerprint traffic, right? So we apply these filters when traffic matches that filter, then we can, you know, because it's an IDS device, we can generate an alert. Now in this section right here, um, we're starting things off slow. Your snort rules can be comprised of both header and option sections. We're just going to create a test rule and we're going to put it inside of this file that's known as local.rules and that's what that file's purpose is, is to experiment with rules. All right, so the first step here is to go over to Alice. Let's click on her and then let me clear this out. This is where we left off. So clear. All right, so we're going to go into that file that I just mentioned a moment ago. So sudo nano, it's Etsy, snort, it's rules, and it is local.rules. So now inside of here, I'm going to go to the bottom of this file. I'm going to do an alt forward slash and see if that works within this environment. And it does not. Okay, so arrow down. <laughs> um, and now we'll actually create that test rule. So first we're going to add a comment because that's best practice. And something else that I always do when adding comments is I put things in all capitals. You can see up here that you don't have to. That's just a practice that, that I usually do. So it helps, you know, to kind of pop to the eye. So test detection using snort header attributes. Attributes. Hit enter, and now we'll create that snort rule using those header attributes. So we're going to alert ICMP from any IP address coming from any port. So any, basically you're saying over here, any socket, right? Any source socket going to any destination socket and any IP port combination. And that's it. So that's all we need to create our test rule. So now I'm just going to do a, let me X out of this thing right here. It's annoying. Control X, Y to save, enter. And now we're going to need to test that our syntax that we put inside of there is correct. So we're going to do, hit the up arrow key here. We're going to throw a dash T on the end over here. And oop, snort, conf. snort space dash c enter exited the file successfully therefore we know that our syntax is correct and now we can proceed to the next section